Guys, it's so cold outside that even the liquid nitrogen tea does not warm me up. So, it's time for experiments in this studio. Today gonna play a little with a vacuum chamber. You do remember that if you put an object that has its own pressure in a vacuum chamber, it starts to inflate. Well, or boil if it's liquid. So, watermelon has its own pressure and it is liquid by 90%. And please do not mix the boiling process with the process of heating the water until the steam is released. It is so difficult now to buy a watermelon. If it was everywhere in the summer, even in building material stores, now it is impossible to find a watermelon in the food stores. And I keep quiet about the cost now, it has grown like Bitcoin. But from the last video in which we did a watermelon challenge against pumpkins and melons, I have this one left. Do not remember how it survived. So here we are and try to put it in the vacuum chamber, kind of no chance. Okay, while I think with my friend what to do, I'll show you what will happen to the tomato in a vacuum. It's a smaller than a watermelon. So, at first I thought that nothing was happening, and then noticed small cracks on it, but the tomato is still intact, and only later I realized that it had cracked, but on the other side, which I unfortunately did not shoot, the liquid has separated from it is already boiling. Well, we decided to cut the watermelon and place it in vacuum by pieces. Well, let's start with this. Holy, it smells so good. Maybe I don't need to make this video and I just take this watermelon and eat it behind the scenes. Just kidding. I wish I had eaten it. This piece only isolated a little bit of liquid watermelon juice. Well, let's try another way. I think I'm hungry or I have not eaten a watermelon for a long time, but it smells so freaking delicious. So, putting the cup in the vacuum chamber and turning it on. Finally, it is boiling. Liquid, which is in watermelon almost 100%, does the business. Actually, it reminds me of how I put slime in a vacuum chamber. But still, it looks so tasty. Okay, let's turn that off. Guys, how do you like this experiment? Let's figure out what else can we put in the vacuum chamber. Share your ideas, please. And that's it for today. Don't forget to like this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel. Leave your comments below and take care.